Hi, this is Melanie for Pretty Easy Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Tamil film Mandela, starring Yogi Babu. If you're new to Pretty Easy Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. I've been hearing good things about this film Mandela, and it has such an intriguing title, too. I've really enjoyed uh, Yogi Babu as uh, he's been a supporting actor in so many films that I've enjoyed both comedies and uh, more serious dramas. This, so it was delightful for me that he was getting a chance to be the lead character. He plays a barber in a village that is completely <laughs> divided, but he is of an oppressed caste and there's the north side of the town and the south side of the town and the leader of the town is actually has two wives so that he has a son of <laughs> from both sides of the town and um when he is struck ill the leader for the election both of his sons run and then it becomes down to Mandela it will be the deciding vote so both of them compete for his vote in various ways so going from when he he is just called jackass or that's the way Netflix is uh, doing the subtitles not even he doesn't even know what his real name is and so he chooses the name Mandela so I love the deliciousness of him choosing that name of someone from Africa that <laughs> was such an oppressed person and where's this new name with pride I, you know so this film is two hours and 20 minutes or so and i really liked the message of this film it, instead of being a super serious movie about elections it's a satire and it has a lot of good things to say about how important one person's vote could be and also uh, really making a commentary on people literally buying votes. Mandela's character uses his leverage to get all sorts of things to finally happen in the village that have never been done up to this point or have been done and then the warring side rips down, you know, the school or whatever it is. I really like the message of the film. I just felt like the jokes kept were kind of became repetitive because the length was stretched out. Um, the soundtrack was okay. It's not like there's any big dance numbers or anything to really warrant the long length of the film. So that's my only quibble with it. Otherwise, I found it very amusing, even though I know, okay, Netflix subtitles are just not always the cream of the crop. I'll just say that. And I don't even know that what you know, this was released on another platform, I think a day before, and then it was also released on Netflix at the beginning of this month. It doesn't have someone who took the care to really put in all of the humor and contextualize things or if there was wordplay. So I felt like if you were in a theater, people would be laughing uproariously at this film. And some of the stuff I just had a feeling was going over my head because... The subtitles didn't make as much of an effort to um, really explain some of the jokes. Now, some of them I absolutely got, and Yogi Babu is, you know, he's a master of sort of the different reaction faces, and he, he did a really good job in this film. Bottom line, it's definitely worth seeing, especially since it's available on Netflix. So um, I think this was a debut director, uh, Madan Ashwin. I think he wrote the script and I think it's an absolutely great idea and I mostly love the concept. Like I said, my only quibble is how long it's stretched out. A comedy in Hollywood is only 90 minutes and that was what was running through my head of how hilarious would this movie have been if it had been tightened up to somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours more towards the 90 minute i think it would have been had a, even more impact for being a shorter film anyway let me know if you've seen mandela and what you thought about the film and if you enjoyed it as well let me know in the comments below follow me on twitter at pradesyyt follow me on instagram at pradesyreviews and 
If you hit the bell here, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.